Hey, this is Nick Alberry, and you're watching Sounds Fair. Hello and uh, welcome to Southsmith TV. We're at the Duchess in York here with Nick Oliveri. Uh, hi Nick, thank you very much for your time today, man. How, oh, man. How's it been? You alright? I'm fucking good. Cool. Good, good, good. Well, how's I didn't mean to say that. So. <laughs> <How's it? laughs> no, I'm doing really good. We're having a good tour and uh, it's been great, you know. See, the, this is number 16 of the 20 shows in the UK and um, yeah, we're excited, excited to be here in New York. Look at man, look at the new uh, you did download weekend. Yeah. Uh, festival, you know, how how was that? You obviously headlined the acoustic stage. Yeah, it was good. A lot of people came out to see it and um which I was surprised, you know. I didn't know how it was gonna be and it ended up being really good. And um so we're we're stoked to uh to get to uh to be part of it, you know. Absolutely, man, absolutely. And how's it feel? Because you guys you've been doing like shows in Chester and all the smaller areas in the UK, New York, you know, obviously in your previous band as well. It's not necessarily the the most notable touring circuit, York, Chester. How is it playing like these smaller areas and small uh, venues? You know, well, so far we played um, Winchester and Chester and York tonight, and um, there's a couple other stops I believe that it didn't normally that we don't normally go to, and um, they ended up being some of the better ones. You know, um, just people came out and, and, and had a good time and sang along and. And it wasn't normal. This is normally, you know, you don't normally go to those stops. And, and, and it, you know, I come from a small town in the desert where we were always excited when a band came to town, so we all went out to it. So, it, it, you know, they're, they're good stops to, 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 to make because uh, not everybody always comes to it, you know. Yeah. You obviously got a new single out, Human Cannibal Explodes. Uh, are your highlights of recording that? You obviously worked on guitar with Dean Ween as well. Uh, what were the highlights of recording and what kind of inspired that track for you? Well, that song, uh, you know, I, I played all the drums and guitars and the bass and sing on, on the new record. I had guest guitar soloist, solos. Um, I'm not real good at solos, so I brought in some friends to do that stuff. But uh, the song, uh, Musically was inspired. I was playing drums and humming the, gu the guitar riff in my head. So it was inspired from drums, the new record, everything on it, because I played drums on it. My, my first drum debut thing. And um, the lyrics came later. Um, I crashed my car, um, fell asleep driving, and, uh, which isn't a good thing to do. And um, I hit an uh, embankment. And, uh, Rolled back into the freeway and um, smashed my head into the concrete and got some staples in my head. That was about a year ago in July, July 10th, I think it happened. And um, so, I, I'm, you know, I'm happy to be here, breathing, touring. <laughs> absolutely, man, absolutely. <laughs> because a lot of things could have happened, and um, I think about it, a lot of things could have terribly gone wrong. Yeah. You know, I could be dead, so. Yeah, well, I'm excited that I'm still here and making records and I got to finish my record. Because I actually finished the second day of playing drums on it. And uh, and it's different to play drums yeah. than if you were just doing a uh, guitar or bass. It's a different kind of stamina. It's one that I don't have, <laughs> apparently. Okay. One I don't have because I certainly fell asleep. And um, But luckily, the other cars must have seen I was swerving, and um, nobody else was in, involved in it, which was great. Yeah. I don't think I could have lived with myself if I hurt a kid or somebody, you know what I mean? That, that would have been uh, something I couldn't deal with, so I'm happy that uh, it was just myself. Yeah. Any outcome could have happened. I just lost a car, you know what I mean? Uh, Boo-hoo. <laughs> no, well, it's, it's, I mean? it's good to have you here, man. I think it's cool as well. You're a pretty positive example. You've done some cool stuff. Mono Generator, obviously, Queen and Stones as well. With this music and obviously playing drums and everything yourself, are you still finding ways? Because a lot of people will be like, he's done everything, he knows what he's doing, it's not really a challenge for him anymore. Is there any ways that the new, the new stuff's kind of challenging you as an artist and a musician? Are you push, still pushing yourself or is it easy for you now? Just to no, it's never easy. I, I, uh, I think you have to work at everything you do if you want to be good each night. 
playing and singing and um, I've never found it to be easy. I found it to be uh, a challenge that I'm up for at times. Um, sometimes they're better than other times. <laughs> Some shows are better than other shows, but it's always a challenge and I've always found that it's hard to, um, I think it's weird if people don't get nervous sometimes. I mean, I don't always get nervous, nervous, but there's always those nerves, like, oh, I gotta go on, on stage, I'm, I, I gotta do this, I gotta play good, man, I'm scared, sure. I'm just, yeah. I gotta go on stage and play, I'm a little scared, but uh, never like too scared. I mean, it's always like, okay, my nerves are going, I, I gotta get up there, I wanna do, I want it to be good nerves, you know, and, and uh, so that, that's good. Yeah. Tell me about how you felt nervous, man, like, obviously people don't look at you and go, oh man, he must get nervous before he goes on stage. I tell really bad jokes and uh, I scare people. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I um, uh, honestly, I, I get nervous every show because I really, really, really want to to play good, and I want to play good every night. And, and it's hard, you know, to especially when I'm doing it by myself, going out and playing acoustic. It's there's no drums and bass to hide behind and loud amps and stuff. It's kind of like every note is is on you, and so it's kind of a it's ner it's nerve wracking, you know, but it's good nerves. I mean, I, I I'm up for it, and I and I want it. Uh, I just kind of feel like when you're not nervous anymore, you don't care. Yes, uh, <laughs> it's how I feel, and I, and I care. So I get nervous, and and I deal with it. You know, I, I just uh, I get through it. You know, yeah. I get out and do it. And it, it normally the first note you play, you kind of kind of either goes away or gets worse. Like, oh no, this is gonna be really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's definitely, definitely a little scary, scary thing. And I wanted to ask as well, man, like, like, how do you look back on the success you've had as a musician? Because obviously you had a lot of success with, with Queens and then with Mono, Mono Generator touring around. And obviously you're in a different place now, but you're still performing and going out there. How do you look back on the success you've had over your career? Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really fortunate and proud to be part of um, the bands I've been part of. Um, I, I feel very lucky to be part of Caius and Queens and Stone Age and stuff like that and and um, and, 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 and I, I'm not ashamed of any, anything from my past and, and so I, I I I'm happy to be able to be able to come here I know because of those bands I'm able to come here and play tonight you know without them I wouldn't be able to come here and play so it's uh it's a, I'm very very lucky you know? yeah man. so plans for the rest of the year obviously you, you Got other stuff. You got other projects. So, what are you looking forward to uh, to, to get getting done this year? Well, the uncontrollable record will be out in September. I um, I have Joey Castillo from Queens of Stone Age on drums for the tour, um, and this guy Stephen Haas on guitar for for the tour, and um, and uh, we're gonna be coming out and bringing the band. You know, I I love doing the acoustic shows, but uh, I also love doing the band thing. So we'll be back with the band. Wicked man, wicked. Yeah. We're all definitely looking forward to that. Thank no. you ever so much for your time today, Nick. I really no appreciate it. Thank you, and, mate. Uh, yeah.